Hello everyone. So today we will do a very small exercise uh, how to extract data from a web application and store into a uh, Excel in Automation Anywhere A2019. So let's quickly create a bot. Click on create new, click on bot. Uh, okay, so first let me tell you the web application from where we will be extracting the data is fake fake names generator so this this is going to be our application so we will be extracting for for name and we will also extract the mobile number okay so so the agenda is to basically uh, extract the name and the phone number and store it in an uh, Excel application so let us name our bot as courier1 ok extract data ok to extract So it is going to be a name. Let's quickly get into this. So I don't know why it is taking long. Okay, so here we are. So the first thing is to open the application. So let's copy this, we will need this and quickly go to browser and open this drag and drop the default browser going to be Adobe Chrome and the link that we have that we copied is fakenamesgenerator.com and save okay so we have opened and uh, so let's wait we will give a wait window Wait for the window and let's. So this is to wait for the window in case if, if the application is is down and taking a long time to open. So browse. Oops. Okay. So it's just updating. Okay, and we will wait the browser. Safe. So what basically we did was we opened the browser and uh, we had to wait for the window to open. And so this is done. Now, uh, now let's quickly create variables. Uh, so we will go to variables, click on plus sign, and first let's keep the the first name. So the description is to store store first name and click on create. Okay, and we will create another variable which which is going to be more number and click on create. Okay, so I forgot to add the description for that. Let me just quickly. So these are basically the best practices. To store mobile number. Okay. Now, since we have created this, uh, let's quickly extract the data. 
and for that we will be using a web call capture let's drag and drop select the window click on capture object and hover the mouse on the first link and just click and go back to your window so we will come here and so here you can see the various properties so we don't need html tag we will go as per the domain path and uh, we don't need path and these things so what we are looking is to action is a property and the property name we will give it as so basically we will extract the html in a text so here is the in a text click on oops uh, just to click copy uh, paste and assign the output to the first name so what we did was we captured this and assign the value to first name just click on save click on copy action paste after the action and recapture and let's capture the phone number okay and go back to the window and here we have as it is domains path html and the same thing path so uh, automation basically use either of the one, one of the properties so you can use it so it, it doesn't matter whether you select all these and you have domains path and all these so that will that will affect so it is better to find out which is the accurate and select one so we will go as per the domains path and same as we will get property html in a text but this time we will store the mobile number into the variable mobile number click on save okay and uh, once it is done what we do is uh, we have to click on generate okay so let's click on so when we click on this okay so here uh, again you have to disable these things and path and the action is going to be click and click on save okay so now we have uh, captured these things so we just don't want for one name we want this to run in a loop in an iteration so we will get into the loop uh, just select loop okay so mm, let's put all this into the loop what do we want okay Okay, so what it will do is it will capture uh, first name, uh, the mobile number, and it will click on generate. Uh, then what we basically want is to store these uh, data in an Excel. So let's create an Excel. So basically, A2019 has two features Excel Advanced and Excel Basic. So we will go to the Excel Basic. Uh, let's open and choose. Let's not choose, let's choose only desktop. And let's go to desktop. Okay. Mm, okay. 
the sheet contains it. Let's see the session name. Uh, session page name. Okay. Uh, let's get to it. These are the best practices we must follow. Let's copy this. Click on we will need this. Click on save. So what we did was we have opened Excel. Now we will have to uh, now we will have to save these data in a uh, in Excel. Okay. So for that we will use set cell. Okay. And when we go to set cell, we will keep active cell. Okay. So here what we will do is we create a variable see we have to store like this we have to store first name and then mobile number then come back so this is how it has to go right uh, and for that we will we can't use too many excel commands like go to cell and then again set set and so for that we will we will create a variable uh, click on that see then click on number variable we will create count Okay, so we all know that there is no uh, counter variable in uh, in A2019. So here we have to we, we have to uh, create a variable and assign a value, and then we have to do it. So so I've just created a variable. Now let's go to number. And here in number variable we will have increment, something called increment. Okay, so we can increment this number. Uh, increment, increment count number by one. Okay, and store it again in a P count. So what what we have exactly did was we created a variable we and as and uh, incremented its value by one. So in a previous version we had a system variable called counter which whose default value is used to be 1 and we used to use, use that but here we don't have anything as such so now we have created okay so now I'll explain you why we have this this counter variable okay so okay so here specific self a of count okay okay so here this this specific cell value will write only a string value so so what you can uh, do is either you have to create you have to uh, assign this increment counter variable to a string and do it or there is one more way by which we can do and that way is um, just press dollar symbol here and you will get So here is our variable now uh, invalid expression. It is still invalid exp uh, expression because it is still not converted to string. So just click dot here and number to string. Okay. So what we exactly did was um, uh, a of counter. So this is basically our counter value, right? So a of count. Okay. And we will do it on scratch dot to string, okay? And the value will be uh, first name. You're getting the point, okay? I hope you guys are getting. It. And the session value will be. So here it is done. We have set uh, our cell with the first name. Now we will have to do it for the second value as well. And for that, I will put it as B of count. And the value that I'm going to set is mobile number. Yes. And the session name is going to be same. This is done. And we will save the exit. Okay, let's get into Excel. 
uh, let's get into the basic and save workbook and the session name is session fake name okay so quickly uh, we will look into a bot so we open we take for window and then we will open excel we loop 10 times increment this is basically the counter value uh, capture the first name capture the mobile number and set value of uh, set it into the excel okay and this is basically to click on generate again so it will work in a loop now quickly we will run a bot okay Close this and let's run. So it is running in a loop, it will work for 10 times. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we are facing an error here. Let's see what error exactly it is. Uh, an unknown error occurred when executing. Actually, the process cannot access the file because it is being used by another process command. Continue. Oh. So let's check what happened and we will get into a board. Board has run successfully. Close this. We will check if we have all our names and mobile numbers. We need fake names. Open Excel and here we are. Okay. Let's close this. And thank you for watching. So uh, we will cover the error handling and all the advanced uh, functions in upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you.